Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's take another attempt at the King of Plague. I've seen these moves repeated so many times by so many people. Of course, this is your game. You bring something of yourself to the table, so even the same moves have a difference about them. You are even different to the way you began. And so it goes. By the way, you'll have to forgive me if I'm a bit hyper, because I've just had some coffee, which is something that I very rarely do. I have coffee maybe like three or four times a year, and, in fact, I feel like this is an important topic, so let's just talk about coffee for a bit, shall we? I feel like coffee is some sort of, like, a, a mass delusion. Like, the widespread love of coffee seems to be some sort of mass delusion. As if, at some point, somehow, everybody came under a spell and became convinced that coffee is good. But it's not. It's terrible. It's so bad. It's a really bad drink. It's wretched. It tastes like cat piss. It's horrible. You have to dump, like, a half a cup of heavy cream into it to make, to make it even taste barely palatable. And then put it in, like, 40 grams of sugar. Just to make it taste like kind of bitter cat piss, rather than extremely bitter cat piss. And it's acidic, and it makes my stomach hurt, and it makes me feel like shit when I drink it. Like, oh, it's so bad. And that mass delusion just rubs off on me occasionally, too. Like... When I haven't had it for a couple months, I start thinking, there's coffee shops everywhere. Everybody's drinking coffee. There's got to be something to it, right? Maybe, maybe my memory is, is wrong. You know, I'm fallible. Maybe coffee's actually better than I thought. Maybe it's pretty good. And then I buy a cup of coffee, and I drink it, and I hate myself again. I'm hyper as hell. And, you know, that's fine. That's kind of fun. But, oh god, I feel bad. Like... It's great for dieting, because it makes me not want to eat, because I feel like shit. Just garbage. God, what is wrong with coffee? And I realize that you're probably under the coffee delusion too, so I, I beg you, please, get rid of the shackles of the delusion. Cast them off. Stop drinking coffee. It's terrible. Anyway. uh, Oh, right. I'm playing a game, I guess. No, I'm going to have some more coffee. Mmm. Ooh, bitter, shitty, mm. Of course, it's inhabited. You enter a cave, intending to, intending to shelter from a heavy storm, when you discover signs that it is already inhabited by monsters. Shit, I'm full of caffeine. Boldly enter the cave. You yell a challenge into the darkness and strike confidently into the cave, weapon ready. If nothing else, you have the attention of the lizard men. Come on, bring it on. The coffee's so acidic, I can probably just spit on your toes and they'll melt. Also, I kind of forgot how to play. Nope. Oh. All right, go for the caster. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, okay, we got the caster. Uh, what's back here? Any traps? What's, what's going on? Interesting, these things appear to be burning, according to the sound, but there's no flame. Cool. Yeah! Oh my god, look at that. AoE on the skeletons, thank you. Also, thanks to my blessing for every um, lizard that I kill, I will gain a food. Yes, hit him, hit him! <laughs> this is actually a strategy. Piss it off when I'm near the skeletons and it'll just blow them up for me. Come on, do it again. There we go. Thank you. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. 
No? Alright, doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. I thought I was going to get out of this without taking any damage. Its AoE does seem to do damage to the skeletons, but not very much, because it's hit them like three times at this point, and I don't think any of them have died from it. So it seems to be very weak. Shit, I just got a ton of damage. At this point, these fights take forever with the default weapon, because everything has so many hit points. No, don't dodge there. Holy crap. Okay, finally down to just the boss. Whew. Three game cards. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? I'm sure you are grateful for that. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. So many sunk beneath the cold waves, never to see the sun again. Well, I know what happened last time I did this card. Given that I can't counter attacks without losing food, no, I, I should probably just take this out of my deck until the next boss where hopefully I actually can counter without losing food. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Wait, I get a curse, fuck you! You would leave these poor souls to spend an eternity in a watery nightmare. You're a coward and a fool, and I curse your name. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. Okay, fuck you too, Dungeon Master. Projectiles travel at half their usual speed, but inflict twice the damage. Eh, okay. Honestly, that doesn't sound like a curse, that's more just like a... a modifier, you know? Because it doesn't strictly make things harder. It makes them travel slower and do more damage, so it's kind of give and take. Golem hunting party. Hmm. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. So I should go back to get the golems if I wanted to get rid of them, but... I don't think I have to. I mean, I don't feel the need to because I've already gotten rid of the rat, the uh, rat hunting parties, and eh, I feel like that's enough. Plus, I don't exactly have a lot of food, so. I was left these simple pieces, and from them I have built a palace of memories, a convoluted maze that few will ever reach the end of. Will you be one of them? Should I go to the battle at Brooktop? Um, I really could use equipment. But now let's keep going. As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. 
Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. I love the Dungeon Master's voice. It's really, he's really uh, a very good voice actor, but he also just has the perfect kind of voice. It's, it's a uh, wonderfully kind of uh, gravelly and rough. It just has a nice texture to it. Let's go ahead and wager my crappy helmet. Choose from these options. Have I ever succeeded at this tavern wager? I think that's the third or fourth time I've failed. I don't think I've ever succeeded. It's a bitter pill to swallow. Almost as bitter as the shitty coffee. Mmm. I think I defend this guy and get a bunch of stuff? Sure. Oh, this is the one where I need to track down the the bastards. Okay, gotcha. Ah, an encounter with the devils of the night. Perhaps not your last. And this one is new. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. In your dreams one night, you are summoned to a fiery pit and greeted by a demon. Oh, what a pleasant dream. I sense you have some spiritual aura, aura about you. I'm willing to trade you a magical item for it. Pay one blessing for a magical item. What is my blessing? Oh, it's a lizard eater, right. For every lizard defeated, I get one food. Um, hmm. I mean, I like food. But I like magic, too. Sure. The demon eyes you, hungrily. It opens its fiery maw, and you feel some part of your soul dragged into that hellish abyss. Tasty, the demon exclaims. Your new magical item will be sent along to the mortal realm soon. In the meantime, take this old thing. With every gain card, the player receives plus one gold and plus two health. Eh, that's pretty mediocre. At least I get the token, though. Here we go. I like nothing more than the chance to see how you handle yourself in these circumstances. So once again, they want to share the spoils with me if I let them go, but I'm going to kick their asses. Come on. Well, attempt to kick their asses. Hey! The bandits grow nervous as you approach. Suddenly, one of them drops a sack and bolts into the forest. The others quickly follow. Three game cards. Wow, didn't even have to fight. <laughs> One food. Thanks. That's better. I really need a new weapon or something. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card tainted by your view of the world and your single-minded purpose. The same singularity of purpose that brings you here. Okay, this one is really hard. Yeah, all right. Shit, and I have to default everything. Uh, hmm. This is bad. This is really bad. Alright, let's go for the caster. Yeah! <laughs> 
trying to stay out of these damn gas clouds. Alright, I think we're actually going to be okay. Okay, just you and me. Let's wait for the gas clouds to disappear. I think we're good. Oh, come on. Give me a chance to attack. I think... I think we have to do more, don't we? Isn't there... Yeah, there's another round. It would be beneficial to deal with that crossbow as a priority, don't you think? Oh, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm not worried about Dusties. <laughs> Shit, I'm stuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright, that was bad. That was really bad. Never mind, this is not fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm getting stuck on everything! Look at her follow me. Aggressive. God, I gotta take care of this damn thing. Break! Break it! There we go. Alright, we might be okay. I think we just got the guy for- no, nope, another one thrown shit. Stop following me! Oh no! Oh, shit! Feels like everybody's so fast. I guess it's because of uh, time distortion. Yes, hit your own person. Thank you. Alright, we're good. Remember, she does four attacks, not three. I made that mistake before and died for it. One. Alright, that's a single attack. Single attack. One. Just single attack. Please tell me there's only two waves and not three. Please, please, please. Because I don't think I can take another one. Alright, that's it. And I get the token. I could have sworn I got that, that token before. You know, one thing I'm not sure about is, if you die before reaching the end, do you actually get the tokens that you've collected? I can't remember. Um, yeah, yeah, you definitely do. Never mind. Yeah, you do. Purchase some heals. Please don't have a barking dog. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank God. Uh, hold on. Let's check the items first. I really want a new weapon. That... wow. 
An axe. Thank, thank you so much. Wait, is this sell? This is sell items. Of course it's gonna have an axe, because that's the weapon that I have. <laughs> no shit. Right, you don't have buy items? Because you're a healer. Oh, it's cheap to get rid of heavy arrows. I really don't feel any need to. Let's get a little bit of healing, I suppose. Well, hold on. Is it cheaper to heal directly or heal with food? Okay, so it's actually cheaper to buy heals directly, because three food gives you 15 hit points. So it's basically 11... $11 worth of food for 15 hit points. Or $8 worth of health for 15 hit points. So yeah, it's cheaper. Uh, I don't want to go overboard. I think I have to push my luck a little bit with this. So I'm just going to leave it there. I want to save my money for uh, buying a weapon or something. Well, in the past I've been afraid of mages, but I'm actually not all that afraid of them anymore. And I'm certainly not going to give them all my gold, so let's attack them. I get stuck in that animation of hitting them when they're down. What the hell? I tried to attack it. Two down. We're good. Please be weapon, please sure be weapon, please be weapon. For that. that ain't no weapon. Lizard men take double damage from the player's attacks. Hmm. That is pretty good. Every one of them with their own monument to passing. Quite poignant, really. Well, I'm not a very blessed person, so I get pain cards. I am sorry. <sighs> <sighs> okay, we're going back. Might as well spend it all on food, I suppose. Well, almost all of it. Rest in peace, money. Oh, saving up for a new bike. The 
this feels familiar. <laughs> At this point, giving them all of my eight gold isn't really that big of a deal. But, no. I need stuff, so fuck them. Alright, traps everywhere, traps everywhere! how slow those projectiles are because that curse that curse might actually be a good thing camera in this level is really, really disorientating. to die to a trap or something. I suddenly lost control. Uh, I win! Aw, oh, I wanted equipment. Oh, yay, I get to see what the last place is, even though I was going there anyway. That was shitty. An expedition. Press on. At least my max health is very nice, even if I haven't exactly filled out my health very well. More mage- oh my god. Should I attempt to negotiate? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Or I could just pay them ten gold. You know, I should probably just pay them ten gold. And that gave me five food. Excellent. A voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. I, <laughs> I'm getting near the end, boss. I think. I need equipment. I still don't have a new weapon. Nah, I'm not getting on board yet. And plus, I'm very low on health. King of death in life, in time, all passed through my halls, but not he, not yet. Let's go. Bring it on. Alright, this battle arena is much more pleasant than the other one. Yeah, 
Yes, kill your own people, please. Alright, we got the shooters. Oh, well, all of them except one, apparently. So now no we got mercy the shooters. to those who oppose you. That is fair, if rather cruel. with his body. Did you see that? Hold on, that needs like an instant replay or something. His his animations got like messed up and I, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Let me do an instant replay right now. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I think this guy is actually one of the easiest bosses for me. He's just very predictable and very easy to exploit. When he uh, puts his shield down and does that big beam thing, you can just come up behind him and whack him like four or five times. Oh, draw three armory, select one to keep. Okay, this is going to give me a weapon. Come on. Yep, there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's go with the weapon. Just to check real quick, what does this do? Every successful combat I see you've found yet another way to profit through violence. You're starting to bore me. <laughs> you made this item and you put it in the game. What are you talking about? Um, every successful combat grants the player some gold. Hmm. Doesn't specify how much gold. So that could be either very good or really mediocre, depending on the amount of gold. The power of a prophet. Choose your fate. Let's go with the weapon. I need more damage. As pleases you. Ooh. Okay, that's very nice. So I've got a new weapon, and now I can go back and forth and actually just heal. Do that one more time. There we go. You want me to take the hero's belongings. You know what happened to me last time somebody wanted me to take their belongings? Yeah. It broke my fucking legs, so go fuck yourself. Have some other poor sap do it. Nah. Nah, man, nah. Hmm. So it's guaranteed to be a weapon, which means if I even succeed I get a weapon and if I fail I probably take damage. Given that I already have a really good weapon, there's really no reason for me to do this. I mean, I suppose I would like the Rat Cleaver over my current weapon because the end boss I have to fight I think is a rat. And the Rat Cleaver does double damage against rats, which is really nice. But... I don't think it's worth it. Or is it? It might be. You know what? Who cares? Let's go for it. Rat cleaver, rat cleaver, rat cleaver, please, please, please. Hmm. The damage is very poor. 
But I guess the special thing about it is that you can press left bumper to perform a devastating attack, ignoring the opponent's blocking. I don't think I've really had a problem with opponent's blocking. No, that's pretty easy to block through. Usually what keeps you from just constantly comboing and, like, stunlocking an opponent is just the fact that they go into some sort of a attack that has the little red icon over them, which means that you can't interrupt them. And I, and I don't think this would actually stop that. Because it doesn't say you can interrupt them when they're uninterruptible. In fact, I don't think anything can interrupt them when they're uninterruptible. This is only specifically about blocking, and yeah, getting through blocking is not a big deal. So, nope. Sail away, and see what you will find. I am not the first to deal the cards, nor are you the first to play. I do not expect we will be the last. Okay, I, th I strongly suspect this is the floor that has the end boss, and given my high amount of health, and my weapon, I think this might be the one. I might actually get past this boss. In fact, I'm so sure that the boss is on this level that I'm actually going to move back and forth just to heal. I could take it no problem, but there's really no point in killing it. Because I've missed the other one, so I'm not actually going to be able to get rid of the golem hunting parties. So let's attempt to avoid them. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Ambush, two monster cards, okay. Eh, this should be fine. Don't I have a thing that uh, makes me do more damage against Lizardmen? I think. Let's go break these boxes to get them out of my way. Oh, shit fire. That's right. Shit fire. Yes, got one. There's one more, right? Oh no, that's the only caster. Alright, we're good. This weapon is awesome. Game cards for that. I'll take it. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Hmm. What does this do? What sort of man would trade the blessing of the gods for material wealth? Oh, that's the gold for blessing. Yeah, okay. No thanks. A wonderful creation, forged of alchemical processes, but given permanent shape. I know of nothing like it. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. Ooh. That sounds very, very good. Alright, I need to remember to actually use this. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Man, my max health is pretty insane at this point. 145. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. Interesting, so this is not actually the final floor. Well, if that wasn't, then this one must be. And holy crap, he it's large. He you are here. He can smell you.
What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? Whilst sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nancy here wants a fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and turns to leave. Don't you dare, you little fucking piece of crap. With one practice swing, you execute him. A surprised gasp is the last sound he makes. Suddenly, the room fills with the bandit's lackeys. Oh, that's nothing. Come on. It actually takes place in an inn. Cool. I've never seen this map before. I'm afraid you brought an axe to a lightning fight. Thieves dealt with, you accidentally wipe your brow with a hand slick with the blood that has run down your weapon. You turn, hoping to find a wash basin, and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Oh! Interesting. Its eyes, so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body. Look at you in fear. You took their lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. Wow, so I didn't actually complete the encounter. Interesting. It's almost amusing to think of being lost. Looking at the world like this. Your destination is merely a step onto another card. Pray to the gods. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what my, wonder what my battlefield's gonna be, because that's gonna decide whether this is easy or hard. Oh, this is an ideal battlefield. Okay, that thing... What the fuck is up with that thing? Like, it hurts me when it even shouldn't. God damn it. Alright, this... Oh, shit. This is bad. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to utilize this tactic of uh, running and then and then doing this. It's not the most fun to watch, but it is the safest. Yeah, 
I just need to stay like over here. Gotta stay away from that thing. Alright, just the two bosses? Yeah, we're good. Uh, where, where, where did the rat boss go? Did it just, like, teleport? Seriously, where did it go? Thank you for destroying it for me. Okay, um, I'm very low on health. One gain guard. Okay, it's actually a pretty good thing to get at this point. Call for the priest. Um, I suppose I can sell my old stuff and maybe buy some heals or food. Please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog. Yeah, let's see what I can sell. Sell my old weapons. Um, all shops are revealed when entering a region that is completely pointless at this point. Oh shit, I totally forgot about alchemical silver. Okay, need to remember that for the end boss. God, I forget about those so easily. Think I'll keep the rest of my stuff. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna heal as much as I can. I should be okay on food. Uh, I guess I'll buy one food, sure. I just hope I don't have to double back too much, or I'm gonna run out of food. Shit. Here we go. Meet the Lord of all pestilence, the King of Plague. Okay. So let's read this first, but I need to talk a bit about tactics after that. The most dangerous Ratman known. The Ratman King has a leap attack that must be avoided if you want to keep the skin on your bones. Only the most savage and cunning of the Ratman rise to royalty among their ranks. Okay, so very dangerous leap attack, gotcha. Okay, so there's two things I need to remember about this fight. One, use the hell out of my artifact. It's got eight charges, I need to constantly use it all the damn time. Because, obviously, the whole dungeon is going to be completed after this fight, so... Yeah, use up all its charges. The other thing is that the reason I've been avoiding using counterattacks is because it will remove one food for every counterattack that I do. Down to a minimum of zero. But, since this is the last fight, that means I can now counterattack. It's going to reduce my food to zero, but who cares? I'm not going to go on to any other place. This is the end. So I need to remember, alchemical silver, Take to use it all the time. time. if you like. I've waited long enough. I will, thank you very much. So alchemical silver, use it all the time, and also now I can counterattack. So gotta remember that. Can counterattack. Now to prepare, I'm going to drink some more... Some more swill, some more cat piss coffee. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Tastes like garbage. I love it. Let's go. I got this. There's a token in it for you if you win. Okay. I'm using my alchemical silver right away. You gotta remember I can counterattack. I can counterattack. I can counterattack. Do not forget. Wolverine. Okay. Going up against Wolverine. Alchemical Silver. Weapon Charge. And it can teleport. Alright, let's get rid of these damn things. Oh, what the fuck? That's new. Oh, 
Oh. I kept the silver. Jesus, that's scary. Okay, we're good. We got this. We got this. I, I don't even know what you just died from. It just, like, did its attack and then just, like, gave up on life. Okay, we... I, it, I'm just now realizing... We did it. That was my, what, fourth or fifth attempt at this? That was really hard. will take generations to recover from this. They must battle and battle to find a new king. approach the final battle. The decisions. The deck is stacked against you, but you have come this far. Yeah, we're almost there. One more. Take a look. Okay, thank god this time I can actually counter a deck. Whenever a weapon's ability is used, the player consumes one food. Okay, so they're doing a similar thing. Except it's, it's much, much lighter. And not being able to use my weapon's ability is very different from not being able to counterattack. Skin Rash. The player draws from the pain deck on every fourth step. Holy crap, that's bad. Okay. You should run. This is the King of Scales. He has lived since before humans came to this place. Mighty and lonely and dangerous beyond measure. He cannot win. Alright, so at this point I can throw shields back into the deck, since I can actually make good use of them. No idea what that is, let's toss it in. Same with that, same with that. Okay, toss out three things. Ring of Enlightenment, that's the one where you have to sell it, right? Yeah, a player sells this ring, they receive plus 50 gold for, every, for each blessing they possess, and all blessings are lost. So, I don't think I like that one. Let's toss it. With every gain card, the player receives plus one gold and plus two health. I don't really like that. I'm going to toss it. Whoops. Do, 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 do. Uh, wait. Did I toss it? I'm confused. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, one more. Toss a cap. When you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one. Yeah, I think I'll toss it out. That's fine. Doesn't seem like a very interesting card. Okay, so that's all the new stuff, so I need to add in something old. My deck is so huge at this point that I'm not 
really sure what to add back in. I don't even remember what these do anymore. The Crucible? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so some serious progress finally made. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I will attempt to take on the King of Scales.